Hello, fellow StarCraftians! Mixmaster Mike here, as usual. Um, still working on my game for both StarCraft and talking uh, into a microphone, actually. Um, looks like we got some GLHFs from the peeps, but did not decide to answer for uh, lazy reasons, most likely, because we're nice boys. Um, but uh, this is me and Istine again. Um, you know, we are still having flashbacks from the Void Ray incident, and uh, we're not we're not happy right now. We're playing Protoss, so I'm actually freaking out. Uh, anyways, Protoss decides to scout us early. Um, And looks like Showtime is a Terran as well, so this is going to be exciting. And I'm still going Toss. I'm going with it, man. I think I may be doing this for good, but this guy's going to scout us. I'm going to speed us up here. These probes are funny to watch when they go fast, but... Gives a couple scouts. Doesn't uh, stick around, but he goes right up to me. Everyone's going to start scouting here, it looks like. Hey, everybody. Look at the scout on. Um, Istine and I are just gonna build, and I'm gonna do my gateway. They scouted early. They don't even know what the hell I'm doing. They saw me put a gateway down, really. But uh, there they go. Uh, Istine, quick expanding? No, nope, that's not even Istine. So, Cybocore. I like those because they make warp gates, which, come to find out, are glorious. Probably a good word for it, but our probes were taken out early. Almost. I mean, they're going together. They're <laughs> this is cute. Look at this. It's two probes. Oh, oh, okay. Getting a little inappropriate now. Okay. We'll give them their second. Anyways, um, I, w I'm, I want to expand, it looks like, at four minutes. Uh, slow down, buddy. Uh, I've got my two zealots out. Histine. Going banlings. Um... Awesome! Though the units paint a different story. Um, Istine, we need you to get on that unit count, buddy. But we get lucky. No one rushes. This guy's factorying up. I like it. I like it. Uh, workers are coming out. He's building aliens, which suck. But whatever. So, um, Protoss, sorry for the delay here, Protoss comes right down, and this is what I like in this map, is you gotta come down to this, because this is such an easy expand, and it's still high ground, so, I mean, keep it going. Um, this guy's going typical, uh, another gateway, he's got money to spend, I'm going four gate again, I don't know about you guys, but I'm going four gate. Um, it works for me, I like having the units on demand. And, uh, yeah, so here comes some harass from these jokesters. I don't like it. But they're taking out these things. Istina's like, hey man, I am just walking here. I'm just walking, and you're shooting Goss rifles at me. Little extreme, but here comes the harass. These things are not cool. Um, but I've got some units, and Istina knows they're coming, so they're gonna chicken the shit out of there. The Marines come. They're still going to try this. I mean, they can probably do it. But the harass happens. My stalkers come. He's like, dude, dude. And I'm probably like, yo, I don't have anything to give you. So, nothing happens. The Queen's going to take out both of these because I'm pretty sure she's awesome. And they're just sk skirting around. I mean, what the hell is that? Anyways, probably not going to get any probe kills. Um, if he does... You know, he deserves it, because great work. But, I don't get it. He dies. Good harass, good little scout. They saw the whole thing. They know we're going big quick, and they're doing the same. They're like, hey, dude, you got to expand. They're expanding. We're going warp gates. Blah, 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 blah. I'm like, okay, four gates going down. They don't even have anything. So, there we go. This guy's going to just turn out his Marines. Marauders are just smart. And, uh, the Hillians probably not. So, 
So, Observer's out. Um, Protoss... Doing well with the economy. I mean, getting those probes out. Getting his upgrades going. Um, these guys... Hellions? Probably not the best idea. I mean, you don't even know what Zerg's doing yet. I don't know how good your scout was, but you probably saw the Banling Nest, and you know that they're not going to respond well to those Hellions. Um, unless you know how to kite well. But um, These Zergs are just going out everywhere. Cuties. Looks like a nice, pretty little display on the map. But they're just going to scout out for us, check out the expands. I'm going Stargate Robo, and we're ready. I mean, we're ready to go here. I'm ready to make units. Um, probably want Void Rays just because I'm still uh, having panic attacks and hot flashes from that last one, but uh, we made it. Um, the expands are covered. We're going to see what happens. Justin's... <laughs> Isteen's got great vision on the map. And as a result, so do I. And I wouldn't normally, so this is good. Keep your warps coming. I got a photon cannon because, uh, what the fuck, photon cannons are awesome. Um, yeah. So I'm thinking expand top right. And I love this because I don't usually expand like this. But again, this is why I love Protoss. It just flows better. So let's send out an observer. Istine, um, has expand going few spine crawlers. Um, but other than that, not many units still for Istine. Um, He's got the queens and the eight lanes, which are just around the map. I am... For a man who gives me so much crap for units, you and your units, buddy. But we'll talk at work. We will, we will. So I get scanned, and that's not cool, because they see pretty much what they already saw last time, to be honest with you. Um, maybe not the Stargate and the Robo, but they don't see this. Um... But they're sending some marines out, they're gonna go starport, they're going two factories, so they're gonna go mech. And, uh, mech against Protoss sucks, you know? So, uh, that's that. My army's gonna move out, uh, Isteen controlled, of course, and... Here goes the little marine bash. I feel like they're just gonna dump me. And I think I know what happens here, but I forget. Here go my probes. They're mining nothing. Just long, long walks on the beach over there. But, uh... You know, I got Immortals. We got Mutas again. Excuse me for making fun of Isteen, because this Muta rush... He gets it a little later this time. This is one of our earlier games. But he gets it at 12 and a half, and, uh... Let me just be frank here. Protoss doesn't see this coming. He's got Stargates down, but... What's he building with them? I don't I don't even know. Um, Terran's got huge production going. Can he even sustain this? I don't know, but there's a lot of movement on the map here, and there are just Hellions going, there are Marines getting ready to drop in my base. Protoss is just walking when he sees the expand cancelled. Isteen, you got a little overzealous, but... There's a Terran exam. Showtime. Uh... Wow, this is an army, and this army hits my base. Um, after this little marine harass, too, I was not happy. I and mean, what's going to happen is worse, because these Hellions get in, and they do bad things. I mean, I don't like what happens here. The Raven. got to respect the Raven, but, you know, not when it's on the other team. i got to do this. And the Stim comes in late. I don't know why you Stim when there's no one fighting you. So, I mean, here comes your half-killed marines for my stalkers in the void way. I wish I could keep that written for a trophy, but they don't let you do that on the computer. So, uh, anyways, the muta harass is happening. Sorry I missed it, but this is great because uh, that's an army and an entire production line gone for Terran. And we just happened to hit it right where his army attacked and the harass came in. Perfect. Um, Protoss didn't do much to help that. That was... that sucks, to be honest. I mean, he's your buddy. He's got no probes. And nothing there. So the harass must have went well, because I missed the entire thing. Um, I almost want to go in and see that happen again. Uh, I will. So... yeah. 
went way too far forward. There we go. If this doesn't work, I'm just going to keep watching. Yep, totally fucked it up. Sorry, everybody. Scan goes down. I totally missed it because uh, I'm texting on my phone. Here we go. I'm sorry I'm being a terrible announcer here. But uh, probes transferring. Um, economy booming. I've got a lot of stuff coming out at 15 minutes, so this is already... I mean, this is probably worse than the Void Ray game, but, I mean, in this case it was good because Terran is crippled. He's got, I mean, he's got production going, so, I mean, he's got the good minerals, too, so what, what am I saying? He's fine. Terry, you're fine. You just lost an army. You're going to drop again. Hellbats... Hellbats make me nervous. They used to be awesome in my book when I was Terran, but... You know... They're tough to get, and it takes a while to get them. And by the time you get them, people might be already on Tier 3. And then a Hellbat is not as good as they make it seem, so... Um, I'm trying to rebuild this base here. And... You know, putting down starports, I believe, because that's what I need. I want starports. And this is good, because the mutas see this, but guess what? We're bronze leaguers. We don't even know what the hell just happened. So, the mutas are here. The drop's here. This is hellbats and marines. I'm not liking the way this looks. They will do this. I killed that zergling. And I saw that, and I said, dude, you're under attack. Um, here comes the drop. Muta's gonna save my ass, and so this is good because the Hellbats are totally useless right now. Um, disintegration is what they say. So there you go. A uh, little skirmish there. My army's fine. I'm like, hey, I don't like being bullied. I'm tired of you picking on my top middle pretty base, which is just finishing, mind you. I'm gonna send my army out. And that's what I do. I don't know who's controlling them, but whoever it is, uses them wisely. And I pump out double robo, void rays, and an army heads out as well, but skimpy. This is nice. Immortals are extremely good against army units. I don't know if you guys know this, but it's like, it's frightening. But uh, what's going to happen here is we're going to go in. And, uh, Istine's got these flyers, and I hope he sees this because... <laughs> This is not so good. He scans something. I don't know what the heck he just scanned, but he found the army heading for his base. Wow, this is a little tense here. I'm heading up somewhere. I'm going to hit his base. Uh, his army doesn't know what to do. They're being harassed here. Um, they don't do anything, it looks like. <laughs> They're not actually doing anything, so... I could lose my army here. I'd be okay with that. Uh, they're probably leveled up. I'm probably I'm leveled up too. So this is good. Phoenix comes in, poops on my parade. Um, could be losing this. Uh, I'm losing that. Harass continues. It's bad. I mean, these guys cleaned it up nice. I don't know why are you so strong. That was awesome. Your shields are good. Anyways, mute is around. My army is. Back. I mean, I lost it, but look at it has reappeared at my base. Um, I pray a lot, and I think that's what happened here. So, um, army coming out. It's, you know, the same one that just beat me, too. So these guys have good production going. They're going to take out this base. Justin's going to lose this. Or Istin. I mean, whoever's... We should probably decide who we want to call him, because um, I clearly cannot. Army backs up over here. Uh, mine's on the ramp. Mixed in with these... Mutas, which is just pretty. This is really a scary little combo, to be quite honest. But, uh, churning, warping in. Probably have a lot more warp gates now. Yeah, I've got six, so that's good. It's a fight happening here, by the way. Um, it's a fight, but it's it seems all over the place. And you're just going to build stuff everywhere. It's kind of weird. But, for vision, I'm guessing, right? Of course. You're smart. This is Bronze League. We know what we're doing. Look at this. Look at that spread. So this guy wants that base back. He needs those minerals. Those minerals are like crack. I mean, when you see them, you're just like, Oh my god, is that orange? And you go mine them, and then you, that's, that's, that's what crack is. You're, that's your crack. 
crack rocks. So, uh, enough of that talk. We got an army. Um, hopefully there's a backup one soon. I got base mining happening, and I'm going to build more... I'm going to build more warp gates, I'm going to be quite honest with you. I don't know why I go off gateway units so long, but it's 20 minutes. They're doing it. And let me show you a little trick here. These are Dark Templars. They are invisible! Um, looks like there's three of them, too, which makes me vomit in my mouth a little bit. But, um... You know, they're going in. We have Hydralisks. I'm sorry, <laughs> Ultralisks. Voids and Stalkers and Immortals. And I don't know if there's an Observer in no observer, we're gonna be destroyed because there are Dark Templars in here, and they're doing some serious damage. I don't know where they went. Did they die? You guys are trying to get vision on the map. This is a big little base glitz here. But I just got dropped on. I'm trying to expand again. I'm like, hey, that fight was sick, we won, time to expand, and this happens. Like, what is this guy doing? He's doing his job, that's what he's doing, but I don't like it. So another big fight happens down here. Um, this is Ultra Mayhem. I send my army up here to, you know, protect, and that's going to be drop central. This is going to be fight central, so there's going to be two fights going on here. And Justin, uh, <laughs> Steen and I, um, we do well for ourselves, and these drops don't work. I think these are ghosts. He's got ghosts out. It's a little meager for a ghost. But uh, we got a lot of void rays. There's a fight happening. That's a nuke. Um, I didn't know this happened. But I'm hoping he kills this ghost before the nuke. Wow! I didn't know that happened. Just avoided catastrophe. That would have been my entire army and base nuked. That wasn't great. But, uh, not great enough. So. Christine's taking this in. He's just gonna mess up these. He should really get these. Cannons are here. It's no fun. This guy's trying to build it. And at this point, Terran is just dropping. And he's dropping in a way that, you know, I don't like. And he's doing this... Ugh. Oh, he's got another ghost, so he wants that nuke. And it's not gonna happen with these guys here. So, I don't know. I just don't know. We got some other bases down. Nothing going on. I'm just destroying them, and I don't... Here comes a drop. Why would you go there? My army's right here. Oh, man. Ooh, sniping. Wow, you're really picking on them. It's, it's a definition of a bully right there. But these cannons are going down like butter. It's like butter, really. Um, the drop kind of happens, but you find you, you're dead, you're dead. This is just kind of easy pickings right now. They're trying to build, they're trying to keep it together, but Istine and I are just solid right now. I'm going to expand again. This is going to work this time, but we're very close to their base. Didn't realize this. It's a stone's throw, but nothing here but probes mining. Delicious crack. So... Um, the Vikings are, have the right idea against the voids. Probably probably too little too late. I mean, Vikings don't do anything to this scary creature, and that's about as scary as it gets. So, yeah, he's going to hit this base. Terran, I don't know. Terran just did not have a good game. He was much stronger than I would have expected in watching this again, but... Couldn't keep it together. His buddy wasn't given much of an army. I mean, maybe we were just doing really well, too. I should give myself credit more often. But uh, my army's kind of just spread out throughout my bases. They've been fighting harass. Um, but Immortals out. Those are just money cakes against everything good. So, uh... This base is eaten alive. I'm sure these are very tasty buildings for the Ultralisks. But, uh, that's a Widow Mine. And those are a pain in the butt. But one against those is kind of... A tickle. And you're expanding to the edge of the wall. Lone Ultralisk. Ghost. I mean, we have vision everywhere. This is great. Good placement of steam with the observers. But you're getting shelled. You don't know why, and it's hurting. But 
god, you're ultralisks, so one tank is like pooping in the barrel. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm just building robo. I'm just like, hey, I have ridiculous amounts of money, I don't have anything to fight. Um, these guys are gone. So let's just see what happens here. I mean, expanding again. Those minerals, I'm telling you. I'm telling you, Showtime. Ah. Where does this nuclear strike go down? I would love to see where it goes down. Because he lulls me. And then a nuclear strike goes down. I would love to see where it happens. He tries it. Uh, it's just units all over the map. It's a big fight right now. GGs. I'm like, hey man, they haven't left yet. This is still a little shady. And the nuke strike goes down there. Wants to get his own base. Probably a good idea. Um, yeah, so that's going to happen. But I don't think it actually does. I, I don't know what happens. I think we just leave and it happens. He just blows up his own base. I'm transferring massive amounts of probes over there. Um... Yeah, the nuke strike doesn't actually happen. That's uh, that's a sad thing. I would have liked to see that. But hatchery's on the crack. This guy wanted the crack, but he's not getting it. So his buddy is trying. I mean, he's got these. I think this gets interesting one more time. But I mean, we're too much, and we have detection. So it's no good. It's no good. And here comes more zerglings. <laughs> these little rascals the end of a game can really be the topping of the cake that just pisses you off enough to quit because when these things run into your base after seeing the ultralist you're just like well what the hell why not and I mean you're not going to do much but they do enough mentally and they're going to run back to their daddies and now big daddy ultralist and why not a couple of robots run in there and uh, they're just going to mess people up This fight happens. My army moves in. I'm just like, hey, hey, I've been kind of just been uh, chilling on the couch for a while. Didn't know you guys were fighting out here. Should have called. And this team's like, hey, man, no problem. Just uh, blow that command center up. I'll blow up the entire map. We have detection. They've got, they've got void rays like poopers. I didn't realize all this army right here. But uh, interesting. Well, I'm going to bring the void rays over. I believe this team's like, hey man, thanks so much for the army because it's gonna be a fight here. And I'm like, hey, 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 I want this one void ray because I'm taking this tank out because I don't like tanks on ridges, as you've, if you've watched my game cast. And I'm like, hey, 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 give me the void ray, you take the army, I will fight this because I'm a simple man and that's what I like. I wanted to fight the tank. Istine's going to get um, an army in his face, but he is also bringing an army that is much scarier, and that's what's going to happen. going to move up this ramp. Distance, I mean, we're blowing up things we don't have to. We need to be blowing up enemy units. Kind of all over the place. I like the style. That's how this is going to end. Uh, I'm waiting for a GG. So this guy's confident. He's uh, he's got some mining going on here. Um, he's got some he's got some turret some turret army. So I'm thinking this could happen. We'll see. Immortals. I don't think they're cool. I mean, they're expensive as hell. Why are they so cool? But, uh, there goes the army. And there's probably one very close behind it. I mean, everyone's going over here, so the hangout is here. But I pretty much stopped making stuff because... I don't know. But there's more army. There's army there. There's army there. Terran's... quit already. But they left. They were trying to be rascals. They wanted to see what happened. So good. Anyways, that was a nice day of casting. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed, and poops magoops magoops.